Kenley, get inside now. Get inside. Get inside. Most of us know who you are, but for the record, could you say and spell your first and last name anyway? Chief Heath Yankee, H-E-I-T-H-J-A-N-K-E. -E. Okay. And uh, go ahead and tell us what we know so far. Going to release a short statement tonight regarding some events that unfolded here in West Fargo. Uh, tonight, West Fargo patrol officers attempted to stop a vehicle for uh, a violation. While attempting to stop that vehicle, the vehicle fled and a pursuit uh, engaged. During the pursuit, uh, the suspect rammed a West Fargo police officer vehicle and eventually stopped in a driveway on the 1000 block of 11th Street West in West Fargo. During that time, a perimeter was set up and negotiations were started with the suspect. The suspect refused to comply with any of the demand commands that the officers were given him. Uh, at that time, Red River Valley SWAT team and negotiations were called to the scene and the SWAT team and negotiations took over the scene and contacting the suspect. During those negotiations, the suspect exited his vehicle and posed a imminent threat to those SWAT officers. At that point, the officers uh, engaged the suspect and shots were fired. The, off the suspect was transferred by ambulance to Sanford Hospital and was pronounced dead at the hospital. At this time, the Bureau of Criminal Investigation has been called in to conduct an independent investigation. We're not going to release the identity of the suspect at this time pending family notification. Those are all the facts that we have tonight, and uh, we won't be able to answer any other questions. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. We are learning much more tonight about a deadly police standoff in West Fargo that left one man dead and shut down a neighborhood overnight. Authorities tell us the man who was shot by police is 32-year-old Justin Dietrich. They say the standoff with him started with a traffic stop for a man with stolen handguns. Police say that led to Dietrich a, a, to ramming a West Fargo K-9 squad car and a high-speed chase. The chase ended when Dietrich crashed into a pickup parked by the intersection of 11th Street West and Westwind Drive near Westside Elementary. After a standoff at about 10:37, police say Dietrich got out of his vehicle and posed a deadly threat. He was shot by the SWAT officers and was pronounced dead at Sanford Hospital. The officers who shot at Dietrich are all members of the SWAT team. Two of them are Fargo officers, Sergeant Shane Aberly and Sergeant Troy Hannock. Moorhead officer Brandon Desitel and Clay County Deputy Kyle Dickman were the other two who shot at the suspect. All four are on standard paid leave until the BCI finishes its investigation. This isn't Dietrich's first run-in with the law. He has an open case in Cass County, accused of threatening to kill his dad in November after his dad made a plan to turn him into police because he was wanted on a warrant. Dietrich has pled not guilty to felony terrorizing of an adult, which is a Class C felony. Dietrich pled guilty and served time in 2015 for felony terrorizing domestic violence. He also has two DUIs and was convicted of reckless driving twice in Cass County.